In this section of the video, we will assemble the extruder assembly to the printer. We will use this printer for, for this demo. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll screw in the screw that will trigger the X switch on the side. And what you'll need for this is a M3 by 25 screw. On the side of the extruder, you'll see that there's a screw right a hole next to the the M4 screw and you can screw that the, the, the M3 screw in. If you screw it in too deep it will hit the assembly on the inside that the hot end assembly that will move so that's obviously a bit too deep then you need to unscrew it a little bit. Now the extruder assembly looks like this and to add it to the the printer what we'll do is we will release the two uh, X rods so that we can slide this carriage out and uh, slide the, the new carriage in. So what we'll do is we will release those four screws and the four screws at the bottom as well as on the left hand side. So that we can slide these, these two rods out. Okay, so I released these screws. You'll see that I moved the, the Z carriage a bit up so that I can take out the, the self-tapping screw um, on the left hand side and the right hand side there of the, the lead screw so that I can get to the last screw at the, at the bottom. Now you'll see that the, these two rods are, are loose and one can slide them to the side. So now we can slide them almost halfway to the side. Like that and we can cut off the two cable ties holding the belt so we'll use the same belt for the new extruder but it will be a different length okay so now I've cut off the, the cable ties so I can take off the belt and then I'll slide the the X carriage off and take the, the belt out. Now we will mount the new extruder assembly. We will slide it onto the, the rods and then we'll route the belt through the, the extruder assembly around the bearing on the right hand side and we'll fix it to this M3 by 30 screws that we've already assembled with two of the cable ties that you receive in your, your kit. Okay, so now we've assembled the dual extruder onto the printer. We have slided the, the two linear rods back so that they are getting in, in position and fixed the belt with the two cable ties on the sides. Once we fix the, the rods, we can tighten the belt again. So now you can see that the, the X carriage can move freely throughout the whole range of the, of the X axis. The next step is to tighten the M3 screws we've loosened on the sides to, to tighten them again. Now we've tightened the sides of the, the linear rods. And we've also cut off the extra piece of the, the belt. It's about that long that we've, we've cut off. And now we will, if you have these two uh, screws you've taken out, you can put them back and also tighten the belt of the, the x-axis. Now we will start to change the, the electronics. The first thing that we will do is we will remove the, the fan from the, the perspex component because we're going to mount it differently. Then what you'll need for this step is the stepper motor driver. You can add the heatsink to the the black component on the stepper motor driver as um, the same as was done on the the ones that already mounted on the ramps board. You will need the um, the fan extension module. It looks like that. And then you'll also need the 200 millimeter two pin cable for for this step. 
So firstly we will remove the fan. We can just undo the screws a little bit and slide the fan off. Now we will take the stepper driver and we will mount it to the open slot. You'll see on the left hand side above the current stepper driver is, there is an open slot and we will assemble it in the same orientation as all the other stepper drivers. Make sure that the, that the pins made correctly, that there's no pin that's, that misses the, the connector at the bottom. And that the orientation is the same as the, the other stepper drivers. So now that the stepper driver has been assembled, we can check that the heatsink of the stepper driver isn't touching any of the pins, that it can short it out. And there should be three jumpers below the stepper driver. We send out all the printers with all the stepper drivers in it. But yeah, just check, just make sure that yours also have, have the three jumpers at the bottom. Now we will take the uh, fan extension module. You'll see that there's a, a, big, a big black connector on the, on the bottom. And we're going to mount it on the pins next to the servo. So here the servo is already mounted on the bottom row of pins. We're going to skip one row above it. And we're going to use the top two rows. You'll see that there's a uh, place for four. Uh, rows on the extension module but we are only going to use two. So the top two row, rows of pin on the fan module won't be connected to anything. And then we can just slide it in there. Now we will connect the power cable that will supply power to the fan extension module. It's a 200mm 2-pin cable. We will connect them to any one of the the input power ports at the bottom of the, the RAMS board and then they will supply power to the fan extension module. Now on the top section of the fan extension module you'll see that there's six pins in the shape of an L and on the top side there's um, so those six pins basically make up three pairs of connections and for the input power we're going to connect the 12 volt power that we get from the, the power supply we're going to connect it to the two pins on the top left hand side and the pin on the left hand side is the black one is the the ground and the one on the right hand side is the red it is the um, the positive 12 volt now we will take the the cable that comes from the fan, you'll see that it's also one two-pin cable and we'll connect it to this fan extension module. We'll use the two pins on the bottom right hand side. So the red pin will be on top and the black pin will be on the bottom. So this then provides power to the, to the fans. This is now a close up of the fan extension module. The connector here at the bottom is the servo connector with the red wire on the left hand side. Then this is the fan extension module and we are only using the two bottom rows of pins of the black connector at the bottom. And then this cable is the 12 volt supply to the fan extension module with the positive 12 volt on the right hand side in the red cable and on the bottom right hand side we have the connector that goes to the fan and we have the red cable at the top. Now we will connect the connectors of the stepper motors to the stepper drivers. We will use the two stepper drivers on the left hand side. So there where your previous extruder motor was connected we will connect motor 1, which is the motor on the, the right hand side, 
and the orientation of the connector on the ramps board will be the same as previously and then the connect of uh, the hot the end on the left hand side so the motor on the left hand side will connect to the top uh, stepper motor driver and the orientation of the connector will flip around because the, the gear needs to turn in the, the opposite direction. Now we will connect the thermistors. We will replace the current thermistor so the bottom pair of uh, pins is for extruder 1 so it's the thermistor of the hot end on the right hand side then above that is the heated bed thermistor and then above that the top set of pins is for the second extruder which is the extruder on the left hand side. Now we have connected the new thermistors. Uh, if you have um, used your old auto bed leveling kit remember to connect the, the Z switch and the server to the, the ramps board in exactly the same way that they were connected. Now we will connect the two small 30 millimeter fans which is on the, the two hot ends. We'll connect both of them in conjunction with the green connector wires that comes from the power supply so that whenever the printer is switched on that they are running at full speed. And the red wire is for 12 volts and the black wire is for, um, is for ground. Now we will connect the red wires that comes from the, uh, the hot ends, which is the heater cartridges that heats the, the hot ends. And we will connect it on the blue connectors here at the bottom of the ramps board to uh, D9 and D10. D10 is for extruder 1 which is on the right hand side and D9 is for extruder 2 which is on the, the left hand side of the extruder assembly. Now for the last bit we will connect the fan back to the, its original position. What we'll need for that is the printed component that looks like this. So we'll mount the fan at an offset to make space for the, for the um, fan extension module. And we'll use two of the M3 by 25 screws to, to mount it. We'll use the same nuts as previously but we'll re replace the screws with these longer screws. There you can see the fan mounted back to the printer and the printed component moves the, the fan back so that there's space for the fan extension module. Once we've checked that all the, the connectors and the wiring are correct, we can um, combine these, this bundle of wires with, um, with the cable ties that's provided that comes from the extruder.